I finish with uh, smiling. Every time is smiling because it is every time uh, happy because uh, there is something in every race uh, that uh, I love. Also in the race where I suffer a lot, when they have problems, uh, when uh, uh, no, it was difficult to arrive. Uh, but at the end, uh, it's an incredible experience uh, and uh, I love it. Welcome to Running Tales, the podcast which tells the extraordinary stories of everyday runners. I'm Craig Lewis, and the voice you heard there was Mario Massarelli. Now, he's more than just a runner. Mario is a 20 times Ironman finisher, a triathlete who qualified for the world championships for his over 50s age group. Mario, though, revels in the enjoyment found in the triathlon rather than simply in times and goals, always finishing his races with a huge smile on his face, however they've gone. He's now turned his love of the sport into a role as a professional triathlon and running coach, I spoke to Mario about why a no pain, no gain attitude isn't the best way forward, how he became involved in triathlons himself, and why your first triathlon probably won't be your hardest. I asked him whether running, swimming, or cycling had come first for him. The running that came first, like uh, I have to say in my experience uh, that uh, many triathletes started uh, from uh, running. In my experience, the first sport that uh, bring to triathlon is uh, running and after uh, cycling and after swimming you know, in my in my experience and uh, yes i was a, a runner but not a competitive runner i didn't uh, compete i just uh, love uh, to to run and like uh, many people uh, do i think i started uh, because uh, after uh, uh, uh working uh, a lot because i was uh, one uh, executive in uh, tourism environment i was uh, traveling really a lot i uh, i was a little bit uh, overweight not a lot a little bit no but i want to be in uh, good shape and so i started to run uh, more frequently and like you know, no, when you run and five and ten and fifteen, then you start to think about ah, oh, well, yeah, I will not do a half marathon or maybe a marathon. Uh, so I started running, and uh, what what happened? No, it was that I I get uh, injured, no, because uh, too much running. Yeah, you know <laughs> that uh, running. Is uh, the good, uh, the very, is very addictive uh, sport, no? Like uh, all the endurance sports. So to recover from uh, these uh, injuries, that was not too much serious, but I have to stop for a while. I I bought uh, a bike, no? Because uh, the doctor said, okay, you can't run now, but you can do other sports. It's not something uh, terrible, no? You can, uh, you like cycling. I said, actually, I don't know exactly because uh, I, I never had a, a racing bike, no? But, uh, okay, I will try. So I bought a second dance uh, bike, cheap, but uh, good for what I have to do. That I still have. No, Now I moved uh, in, in Spain. I'm not living anymore in Italy where I was living before. And uh, not to remember my first step, no, when I bought my first bike, and uh, from there I I was uh, I started to like also cycling, and uh, then I was uh, a swimmer also, no, since I was a child, not very good swimmer, but normal swimmer. So I also I start to alternate swimming, you no, know, to change a little bit during the winter. And so at the end, uh, no, uh, you know, it's easy. No, do you sum up the three sports? I say, come on, I like running because I restarted to run, of course, the injury passed. I like also cycling now. Swimming uh, is good for me because I sw- swam since I was a child. So maybe I can do something in triathlon. And this, that's uh, the, in the story. Yeah, and, and but there's a there's a little bit of a jump from liking running, liking cycling, liking swimming to going, oh, do you know what? I'm going to really put my body on the line and go out and do well. In your case, I think not one Ironman, but but twenty. Is that right? Yes, twenty Ironman, twenty twenty Ironman. Uh, why? Because uh, when I decided to <clears throat> at the end start to do triathlon. No, I I started uh, before uh, training for myself. No, I was not uh, 
uh, yet uh, Iron Man certified coach, what everything I am now. Uh, but uh, uh, no, I contacted uh, my first uh, coach, no, that uh, and uh, to say, okay, I like to to do triathlon. No, you can uh, you can uh, help me, and. Uh, so I I started and the stuff I have to say because uh, like I said I'm uh, I spend uh, twenty more than twenty years of my career doing uh, on a business executive so I'm uh, a little bit uh, you know you focus you put uh, no like objective uh, and milestones uh, no <laughs> I decided my I said, okay, in one year, I will be an, uh, an Ironman. I, I would like to be an Ironman. And so I put all uh, the milestone. I said, okay, in three months, I can do a short uh, triathlon race. And then uh, in uh, six months, uh, one Olympic distance. And then uh, one uh, 7.3. No, I did all the steps. Eh? At, at yeah. the end, after a new year, because I actually, I booked the all of these races. No, I subscribed for all these races. The same day, I remember. No, you know, I think, okay. I, <laughs> That's putting is, pressure on yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. This is, is, is something that helps a lot, no? To to put an objective. I had to say this is for a triathlon, for running, or I think for every kind of sports. Uh, if you are thinking to do something, no, like an half marathon, a marathon, no, no. Uh, okay. Go on the, the website now. Everyone uh, now book through website and uh, book your uh, your first uh, uh, race, and you will see that uh, your mind immediately one minute after will do a click. No, yeah. no. I say, Oof. now also if uh, it's far, maybe the, your uh, your the day of your first race, you say, Oof, now I have something uh, that is coming. No, I have I have to do something. You. Your mind is uh, more is change, and uh, you train uh, better, and uh, you wake up when you are lazy in the morning to to train. This is the uh, something. So I book everything in the uh, every race in the same uh, day, and uh, after one year I became uh, an uh, an Ironman. Obviously, you enjoyed and liked these sports individually, but did you love it straight away when you put them together and did your first triathlon? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, triathlon is a, a little bit a, a sport that you practice. You training a lot alone. This is uh, this is uh, this is normal. That in some way, okay, is a little bit you can think lonely sports. But in the other uh, in the other way is a sports like uh, like the running that uh, help you to uh, like uh, incorporate your training in your uh, in your lifestyle no because uh, is uh, okay you have to program of course like every time i said but uh, you can program base it in your commitments no it's not something that uh, you uh no is I, I don't know is uh, saturday from 5 to 7 you have to do this okay saturday you have to cycle two hours maybe okay but you can decide you know if you have uh, family commitments uh, you can uh, wake up very early and uh, and go and after you do no the in a, a a world in a life where we have a lot of commitments because of our job, our family, our everything, I think that uh, this is not uh, uh, another uh, uh, commitment. More is something that you you like uh, you like to do, mm. and uh, is uh, like uh, the time that you dedicate to yourself. No, this is uh, different. So it is lonely. Actually, it's something that uh, that I like. Really, yeah. I like. Sometime, of course, uh, I go out to train with uh, some uh, some friends, no? Because uh, it's, it's uh, good to alternate, uh, no? Loneliness and uh, friend uh, stuff. 
but uh, it's not something that, that uh, if I don't do, I, I miss. It's something more to train with some people sometime, mainly cycling, no? because it's easier. No, okay, we go, we do 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers. Uh, but uh, it's something that uh, for me is uh, is um, is good of uh, of uh, of training uh, alone. It's something that uh, mm, I think is a life where we don't have a lot of time for ourselves. No, we are uh, between uh, one thing and the, the following thing. No. So for for me is uh, go alone to run for uh, one or two hours uh, is uh, something amazing. It's priceless for me. This is the lifestyle, no? That, that you change. That I speak a lot with uh, the athletes that, that I train. That uh, look, you don't have to be never uh, a sacrifice. No, it could be someday that you are a little bit lazy. It is, uh, is possible, it's okay it's for everyone. But uh, look, there have to be something that uh, that you love because uh, running or cycling, you are uh, loving yourself uh, at the end. No, your is the time that uh, you dedicate really to yourself. This is the uh, a point. Of course, uh, I'm uh, an uh, Ironman, uh, I'm uh, a competitive triathlete, not a professional, but we can say in the top of my age group, uh, no, worldwide in the Ironman. No? But uh, I'm, I don't have uh, a really uh, too much uh, competitive uh, mind. My philosophy is uh, for me, for the athletes that I train, is more uh, about uh, uh, wellness really to uh, to use the the sport to live a better uh, a better life i respect competitive people also if they are not professional because everyone can live the sport his life like he prefer i respect totally but my philosophy is a, is a little bit different i i was 20 time my ironman finisher of course in some races i was faster and uh, uh, some races uh, less, less. But uh, I every Ironman I finish with uh, smiling. Really, you can check my my picture in my profile, my social profile. Uh, yeah. Every time is smiling because it is every time uh, happy because uh, there is something in every race that uh, I love. Also in the race where I suffer a lot when I have problems uh, when uh, uh, no it was difficult to arrive. Uh, but uh, uh, at the end is uh, is an, an incredible experience, and uh, I love it. So, uh, of course, after you can say, okay, I did a better race. Uh, I did a sub ten hours. I'm uh, amazing. But really, uh, uh, of course, everyone have the race that they have better uh, records than his uh, his mind. I can say my better uh, uh, reminders are not. Uh, from the race where I did my personal best, no, I don't, yeah. no, I will not explain why, but uh, it's not this, no. So that is, I think, is 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 important to really to train and compete for yourself or for your wellness. This is my philosophy. Presumably, you even managed to finish the the first Iron Man you did with a smile on your face. Um, wh where was that? How did it go? And and was it was that the hardest one? The first, uh, you say, yes, if it was yeah. the hardest one. <clears throat> Actually, uh, no, no, it was not the the hardest one uh, for uh, one uh, main reason that uh, when you finish your first Iron Man, normally, no. You want just uh, to finish it, no? Yeah. And uh, so uh, you uh, you don't push too much because uh, uh, not you don't uh, know very well uh, your uh, your body. You don't know where is your limit. Why? Because you never did before, no? Like uh, many many people when they contact me, they they ask. Uh, but uh, I never ran a marathon. No, how I can do an Ironman before I have to run a marathon? I say, no, 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 no. It's, it's not uh, like this. Many people like me, uh, we ran the, our first marathon during our first uh, uh, Ironman. No, because 
the marathon like the ironman is a, is a very very hard effort for uh, your body and uh, yeah. you need uh, months to recover well no don't uh, look at the people that they do three marathon <laughs> in one month it is a, an exception it's not uh, the human body doesn't work like this no the human body need a lot of recovery time no because you are not a, a prof a professional eh? i repeat so uh, what uh, what happened that if, if you do too much longer uh, workouts like to run a marathon during your trainings after you need uh, too much time to recover no you will never be prepared so you uh, run many people run the first marathon during the first ironman and what happened it is a, is a, a a secret that many people doesn't know that if you go and uh, see um, a marathon dur during an Ironman, if you uh, exclude the top people that run all the marathon, many people run for a long uh, part of the of the marathon. They walk. They walk for the long part. No, they, is uh, there are very few people that uh, run all the marathon during a full Ironman. Eh? It's different is the half Ironman because it's completely different, no? Yeah. Uh, it's the half. But during the full Ironman, uh, really, I now, now I can say that I ran for all the marathon during uh, no, uh, my Ironman. But the first, no, because, uh, no, I was, uh, uh, of course, was the first. So uh at the end i spend uh, uh, part of uh, the final marathon walking so at the end i arrive very well but after no the following ironman of course uh, is normal i want to improve uh, i want to, uh, to... so uh, when uh, you decide to push for all uh, the the race for all the full ironman uh, your uh, you bring your body at uh, its limits, and so uh, I remember for uh, for example my toughest one was uh, in uh, Copenhagen. I think it was two thousand twenty one because uh, I was uh, in very good shape. I thought it'd be in very good shape. I wanted to break all my records, all my but uh, like uh, people that compete, uh, they know that uh, they say it was not my day, no, it was not the day. So I start pushing uh, at uh, my best uh, during the swimming. The water was a little bit cold. I suffer a little bit uh, the, the cold water. So I went out, uh, I took my bike and I started to push uh, like uh, a crazy guy. And uh, the the day was very was very windy, no. And the wind is something that uh, really, you no. Know, in the, the cyclists, they call the wind like uh, the happy of poor people, no? <laughs> because it's not a true a true up, but uh, happy, but you suffer. And uh, so I, I, I was not accepting that I can be fast like uh, I program in my mind because of the wind. So I arrived to the marathon. I started the marathon very tired, but uh, I wanted to, to push. So I start to run very fast. Uh, and uh, at the end, uh, uh, after maybe when I arrived to the half marathon, I arrived what uh, no, in jargon we called the wall. No? Yeah. The wall uh, is uh, something that <laughs> no, uh, you no, no, it's in, like the wall. <laughs> you get in your face, and you are uh, you don't have uh, any more energy, and uh, really was terrible. <clears throat> was terrible because uh, <clears throat> uh, was the first time that uh, happened to me during uh, a, a race. And uh, I remember I stopped to run, I started to walk. And uh, there was uh, like uh, every time uh, my my partner, Abir, hi Abir, that uh, <laughs> every time she's with me. And uh, no, uh, she, no, normally she, she look at me you know, when I arrive running, you know, cheering. And uh, I was walking at this moment, no? And she said, what happened? 
and uh, I say I can't uh, I can't uh, anymore. And she said, "Come on, my just uh, twenty kilometers left." I said, no, "In this moment, twenty kilometers for me was like uh, two hundred kilometers because yeah. I have not any more uh, energy." And uh, but at the end, uh, step by step, you know, this is uh, the um, not when you speak about the mental strength is uh, is this is uh, to to go through the difficulties and uh, no and uh, start not to to be like uh, courageous or like something like this, but. Uh, just uh, to, uh, in this case, for me, is the strength of uh, mental strength of Iron Man is think uh, in a lucid way. Also in this moment, I said, okay, not uh, it's not the day, not any more records, not any more personal best, not any more. Uh, but uh, you are okay. You are not injured. You are just uh, very tired uh, because you pushed too much. So go to the next. Uh, uh, the table when they drink a little bit more, drink, um, eat some gel, uh, walk a little bit, uh, and restart to run for one kilometer. And I have to say, it was lucid also when uh, it was uh, not any more energy. I was lucid. And like I said before, I arrived with uh, the, the smile uh, at the end uh, at the finish line. So this is. Uh, this is important for uh, for me. And uh, uh, now that uh, no, uh, like I decided to left my job like business executive after uh, many, many years to dedicate uh, myself to 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 coach people in, yeah. the, in the for triathlon and also running because uh, actually uh, and uh, to help people to go through this uh, philosophy, because uh, I think that uh, is really the sports, uh, the triathlon, the running is uh, one of the better way to uh, really to live uh, better and to live a uh, healthy life uh, lifestyle. And uh, the satisfaction that uh, I have when uh, I see people really not just improve their time or finish uh, uh, half marathon, a marathon, an Iron Man is not just this, but really to to feel better, more energetic, uh, more uh, happy. No, this uh, is a uh, really uh, the, a satisfaction that compensates totally what uh, I lost uh, when uh, I decided to stop my career in uh, business executive. That of course was more. Uh, about uh, money and salary and uh, no, you know, is uh, is uh, different. Yeah. But uh, really, I'm uh, I think in a, I'm in a part of my life. Uh, no, I'm now I'm 52. Where uh, luckily I can uh, choose to do what really I love in my life and yeah. uh, help people because I saw what you are doing. You are uh, you are amazing, really. Uh, helping people is something that is priceless. Is uh, I think uh, is uh, something that uh, uh, is uh, in a, another dimension. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. So it's, it sounds like with with the coaching you do now. I mean, obviously, I'm guessing that there's a uh, there's a lot of work people have to do just to be able to do those distances and and to complete these things, and you have to coach them in the right way to do that. But you're uh, you're also coaching them so that they can also like you did finish with that big smile on their face and be happy that they've achieved something and kind of beaten their own body if you like yeah yeah absolutely absolutely yes 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 and uh this is uh is my story now, now i continue to be an uh, an athlete an age group athlete like we say no an amateur not a professional and uh and coaching uh people also in in this i have uh, uh, of course i train every kind of uh, of uh, people no every uh, category but uh, i'm um, focused if i have to say on the people that uh, are starting to to do triathlon or to to run because uh, this is uh, the moment where uh, really uh, people are uh, dreamers no, they dream uh, to achieve the, the first important uh, goal. 
uh, after my my job changed no because when uh, people no i passed through this uh, path no uh, they uh, achieve their first result then uh, they want uh, no to improve and then yeah. you, you start to speak about personal best uh, about pacing your it's okay it's okay i'm uh, i'm doing uh, also this, but I have to say what you prefer. Yes, I prefer to start when people call me and say, look, uh, I'm, I just uh, run a cycle a little bit, but I want to do an Ironman, it's my dream. You can help me. This is uh, what uh, no, I, I love more because I can uh, no, uh, join the dream of, uh, of these people. So when people come to you kind of with that with that dream what's your first piece of advice to them <laughs> yes the the first is uh, really to uh, understand uh, how they can uh, um, uh, balance uh, their the trainings with uh, their uh, their life to understand uh really uh how much time they can dedicate to to this uh to this dream no because uh no many many people think that to become uh, an iron man you you need uh, to train maybe i don't know 20 30 hours uh, a, a week you know this is uh, for uh, really for professional people uh <clears throat> With uh, like uh, like I say, between eight and ten hours a week, maximum of twelve, you you can become an Ironman. It's important is to be consistent, no? To go yeah. day by day, no? and uh, so I help people say, but I don't know because I have no time. I say, no, look, probably you have time, no? And uh, I help people, no? Usually I do. Uh, a video call no to understand with the, the people if they really can achieve uh, this uh, this goal because i think that everyone can achieve this goal in my opinion and uh, no if we analyze or say okay what is uh, your job your family your no because uh, what uh, is important for me is that uh, you have really an equilibrium with uh, your uh, training your uh, family life and uh, your uh, your job, no? I I don't want really. I don't want that people start to neglect a little bit uh, their uh, their family or their job. Look, mm -hmm. this is something that you have to perfectly incorporate in uh, in your life, and uh, you can do it, no? Just uh, say okay, we analyze. Okay, we analyze. Uh, speak uh, about uh, your uh, your life, uh, uh, no? We and this is my first. Uh, uh, advice no we, to to really check well no because we have a lot of time that uh, usually no we don't use uh, in the proper way no when the people have uh, say i have no time no time no time i say look okay analyze we are we analyze because uh, i was like i said i was a, a very busy business executive i was a ceo of a very huge company if I found the time, I, I, th <laughs> I think that everyone can find the, the time. It's just you have to analyze well, no? Yeah. This is <laughs> one part, you know, I have an emotional part, but I have with me this analytic part that's coming from my job of before, no? This is every time with me in some yeah. way. And, and I, I saw um, on, on your Twitter feed, actually, that something that fits into this is you were saying that the, um, you know, you mentioned we're not professional athletes sort of thing and um the the the, the no pain no gain attitude actually yeah. does really work yes uh actually uh not because uh, this is uh, the the social statement that people write that uh i don't like not this phrase like uh, no pain no gain not is uh yes is uh, uh it's true that you have to do sacrifices no? to mm -hmm. reach uh, objective. It is in the sport, like in everything in the in uh, their life. But uh, uh, what I believe that just uh, you have to be 
uh, consistent in uh, what uh, you are doing and uh, is the no because um, you know what, what happened that many people maybe they start uh, and uh, to, they train uh, uh, a lot uh, no to uh, reach uh, their objectives without a program without uh, really think uh, what what they are doing uh, exactly no because uh, probably they need a coach like i said every time eh? no every coach no i don't say just hire me but uh, Please hire a professional coach, no? Because it, is, it will be the difference for uh, for you, no? And many people, no? They think, okay, I want to start to to uh, to run, and uh, today I will do uh, fifteen kilometers, and uh, okay, I can't, I I'm suffering, I have pain in my legs, my the go. No, this is uh, this is absolutely wrong. Sometimes, of course, you have pain in your legs, and you suffer a little bit. But start uh, like uh, this uh, is uh, is not something that is is good for uh, for your body, and uh, it will uh, bring you probably to get injured, mm. and uh, get injured also no is not good. But in the long terms uh, is uh, a a bad uh, investment. No, <laughs> Bec- why? Because it's easy. Because uh, if you get injured, then you you have to stop. You need a lot of time to to recover, no? And uh, probably at the end you will train less hour that if you train, no, the right amount of time every day, no? Mm-hmm. I say every day, but actually, um, uh, for example, to my athletes, also the advanced triathlete, I give. Uh, minimum one uh, one day off uh, every every week because the this is something that people underestimate eh, a lot eh? the recovery time yeah. you have to recover and you have to sleep no i i remember like it was yesterday when i spoke for one of my first time with a, a pro triathlete a very top triathlete uh, and uh, i said come on uh, I, I was we were speaking uh, about uh, no one uh, supplements no food supplements that uh, no like you say okay what do you think about the, the vitamins uh, you prefer uh, no so amino acid uh, he said uh, look uh, listen uh, listen to me there is uh, no one supplements that give more energy or uh, you feel more stronger that uh, one hour more of sleeping <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I think that's that's fantastic advice for um for anyone actually because we all sort of neglect our sleep we all maybe don't stretch enough every now and again uh we all don't take that rest day because we think an extra 5k will help when it it probably won't um yeah it's just slightly running out of time but I want to throw one last question yeah. your way which it's is a... kind of what's what's next for um for, for, for you personally Mario I know I noticed that you're um are uh, your Ironman World Championship qualified? Does that mean you're yeah. you're heading off to the championships? Or yeah, a- actually, uh, actually it was uh, during uh, the uh, the last year. Yes, I got the qualification for uh, the World Championship of uh, Ironman. Was uh, was in Saint John in Utah. No. Uh, and uh, I went there uh, because I was uh, ranked uh, in the, the best uh, at Ironman Italy's in my uh, group, uh, age group. And yeah. actually, uh, I didn't have the opportunity to, to go. No, I have uh, two main uh, reasons. Uh, the, the first that uh, they... Uh, send me this, uh, this mail that I have not a lot of time to, to organize myself. I was still in my my executive career. No? Yeah. So was uh, really difficult to me to, to go. And uh, at the end, uh, I didn't go. But uh, you, you know, was uh, this is uh, this is a part of my philosophy that I I hope I express well that uh, it's not uh, just uh, about to get uh, uh, results uh, and uh, go to the World Championship, but to live uh, a healthy and uh, lifestyle. 
So I didn't end. Okay, I was a little bit sad, but I said, okay, Mario, you at the end you got the qualification to the World Championship because uh, at the end, you no, know, you you did well, no, and uh, to uh, do this uh, well, uh, you also live uh, a good life. So I I accepted that, that uh, was uh, not uh, the moment to to go to go there. But uh, I stay every time with the, the good part. Uh, that the good part was that uh, I I qualified for the World uh, ch- Champions. I was happy, yeah. and uh, this uh, happiness uh, stayed with me. And uh, also when I have to to decide, I was forced to decide to to don't go. But it's okay. Like you say, I smile also when I speak about this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a good good way to to end. I think Mario with with a smile. Uh, maybe we'll set you the, uh, the 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 challenge of qualifying again and then coming back to. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. I think we 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 can. We can. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today on uh, on Running Tales. I really appreciate your time. Thank you to you, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Bye. Thank you so much to Mario for joining me on the Running Tales podcast. I really hope that you enjoyed listening to his story and all that wonderful advice as much as I did. If you are enjoying the Running Tales podcast, I really just want to take a moment to ask you all to take some time out to give us a review and a rating wherever you listen to Running Tales. Now, positive reviews, we say this all the time, they mean the podcast gets seen by a wider audience. The more we get, then the more people get to listen to the inspiring stories of guests like Mario. Also, if you want to see and hear more of our content, then please be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Running Tales Pod on Facebook, where we're called Running Tales, or to check out our YouTube channel at Running Tales Pod. Now, this week on Running Tales, we've also been looking into the somewhat controversial news that Parkrun has appointed the former Sun newspaper editor, David Dinsmore, as a trustee. Now, you can see the full story on our Substack website, www.runningtales.substack.com. Now, Mr. Dinsmore, he was one of seven new Parkrun trustees, including people like the former Deputy Chief Medical Officer for England, Jonathan Van Tam. Seven new trustees appointed by Parkrun, but Mr. Dun- Dunsmore's appointment has proved a little bit controversial that's due to his time at the Sun and by the way he's actually still a News UK executive now. While at that newspaper Mr Dinsmore's defence of page three girls actually led him to be named sexist of the year by an anti-violence women's group and he was also found guilty of breaking the law under the Sexual Offences Act when the Sun published a picture of a 15 year old girl who'd been sexually abused. Should say that that picture was heavily pixelated but nevertheless Nevertheless, the girl was identified and the newspaper was prosecuted with Mr Dinsmore as its editor. Now, as a result of all that, some part runners and some volunteers have written to the event's chair of trustees, Greg McGaw, asking for Mr Dinsmore's appointment to be rescinded. Part run themselves, they say that Mr Dinsmore's an outstanding candidate and that the event is for all, including those who read, watch or listen to News UK outlets. Now, I know of at least one part run ambassador who has stood down from their role as a result of all of this. And last night, Mr. Dinsmore held a Q&A session to address concerns as this really looks like it's one that may have some distance left to run. Keep an eye out on www.runningtales.substack.com to read our original stories and any updates that we, we may have. I hope you really enjoyed this week's podcast. Please let us know what you thought of Mario's story, all the fantastic advice that he gave, what you think of the part run story and, and anything else that you'd like us to address on Running Tales. Thanks very much again for joining us and we'll see you next week.